Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. Um, today's video, another short one hopefully, um, today we're going to put the distributor into the engine and just show you a little bit about how to do that, how to line it up, get it right. Uh, it won't be a long video I don't think um, it, and I didn't want to you know do it as part of another video, I wanted to keep this separate so again if somebody was looking for how to put the distributor back onto the engine that they can find this video separately. So apologies for it being short and not a lot of content but um, I thought it was important to keep this separate um, and have it as a separate item in, in the video. Um, another video that I might do today but obviously it will come out separately is just on setting the tappets and part of the reason I want to put the distributor on today is so that I can move on and, and do the tappets. Now you don't need the distributor to be in, but it makes life a little bit easier um, when, when, or if you do, because um, you can then see where the rotor is, and that helps you to determine which tappets to set. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's move on, we'll put the distributor in, and we'll quickly run you through what you need to do when doing that. Okay, now obviously we're over on this side of the engine. Um, you can see, here we've got the, this is where the distributor will go, spark plugs are here, the coil will go there, just to help you orient yourself. Now first thing to note is that I still have this screwdriver in, holding the flywheel in what I believe to be top dead center on, the, on number one. So what that tells us is that we want our a distributor, when the distributor goes in, we want the rotor to be pointing towards plug number one. That's a nice feature about these engines. Um, I have also just marked here, I put a little white mark there and a little white mark there, so I know that that's roughly where this um, gear, this is the, car, the um, pinion gear I guess, uh, for the distributor that's running, a, up a, you know, running on the camshaft, so I know that that needs to line up there. That is keyed, um, so there's a, a shaft, uh, there's a key on the shaft and that key you, is really important to have that in because that drives the shaft which ultimately drives your oil pump so please remember to make sure that you put that key in and make sure that that is properly keyed before you continue okay so we've got this boss now um, it's a spacer boss whatever you want to call it that needs to run uh, sorry that needs to go in here and it looks like, and, and that's relatively straightforward, there's really nothing to it, it just goes on there and you bolt it down. Um, <clears throat> only thing worth noting is that it might look like there should be a wash, I mean a gasket here, but there isn't. And when you think about it, there, this is a lovely shoulder that fits inside there, so that's a relatively good seal there. And actually oil is kind of in this area here, it's not really under pressure and it doesn't basically it doesn't um, come out so look that's it and it's a relatively tight fit you'll notice when you put that in you know it's a, it's a good fit so no oil is going to get out of there it has two spring washers and two nuts I got some new nuts uh, the old ones were the threads were a little bit dicky so I decided to get some new ones and you can basically just bolt that down okay right now the next thing that we would need to put on is this little plate and Again, I don't know if you're going to see it on the camera, but this has markings on it. Let's put the distributor down. So this has retard or R at the top and A at the bottom, and you've got one, two, three, four, five markings. Obviously, the middle mark is obviously center, and then you can retard by two and advance by two. Presumably, those marks mean degrees. That simply goes on top like that and I believe that the marking should be on this side although looking at the plate on the distributor you can see 
we have this point section here and that point is on both sides and that I believe points to the marking on the distributor so in theory you could put that plate the other way around and it should also work um, and actually I'm thinking about it I might do that because when the co coil is in here you might not see that quite as clearly right now our distributor can only go one way if you look I'm going to bring this up relatively close but if you look that pin that dog um, in the center well not in the center that's the point it's slightly off to the left here um, so it can only go one way into that um, gear at the bottom we want the the um, the bolt or the post the electrical post in the front we want that bolt in the front so we want that to go in that way let's just put some oil on that before I go any further so you want some oil on this um, shoulder here because you want this to to turn nice and freely okay you just don't want that getting stuck in there and right so we push that down as far as it'll go right now we can imagine that that um, cog is getting caught up on that gear at the bottom so we need to uh, just feel for where it engages with that gear which it feels like it has there so now we should be able to push this down into the housing it doesn't want to go it's definitely engaged interesting Something's not right here. I don't believe this should be that difficult. It should just slide down, and I don't really want to force it. So I'm going to just take it out again. Yeah, it's definitely right. And before we go any further, I'm just going to take all these plates off and just see if I can see what's going on it feels to me like it's actually catching on the um, on the gear now I've just noticed that we've got a bit of a gap here which is roughly how much it's not going down by and I wonder if that's got something to do with it
Now, I remember when we were refurbishing this distributor, there was a comment made on that video. It was a long time ago, three years ago. And the comment was that this distributor is not the correct one for this tractor. It's, um, I can't remember the uh, model number now, but there was a mention of another model number and that that and I'm wondering now whether that's the problem so the um, apparently this distributor does come off of a standard engine these are called standard originally made by standard or um, that the engine is called the standard engine is known as the standard engine um, and it, they they were used in I believe Austin cars as well and uh, I believe this distributor is probably from an Austin and not originally from the Ferguson so we're getting we're definitely getting the movement we need but it's not going all the way down Oh, there it goes. But now... Yeah, you see how that's closed up there? It's lifted the shaft up. Now, that cam for the um, distributor... Yeah, no, that's, that's not right that's now stuck right we're going to abandon this um, I'm going to investigate getting the proper distributor for this okay well that did not go according to plan um, look that's how it goes sometimes right so sometimes you have great plans you you um, you think you're going to do something and it just doesn't work out and that's that's the nature of the beast with these things so yeah, sorry we couldn't complete that, um, but it, hopefully the principles there, you can see um, what, uh, what we were aiming for at least. Um, the main thing really I wanted to show you was to get that plate in and make sure that, I mean that plate, it's not critical, right? You don't have to have it, you can kind of eyeball it, you can, well not eyeball it, but you can, you can adjust your timing and your advance and retard without that plate, but obviously it makes it easier. It gives you a reference. It kind of shows you where you are when you start. You can make a note of that. You can make the adjustment and know roughly where you, how much you've moved or how much you've changed it. Um, anyway, bottom line is, um, yeah, we need to find a, a proper distributor for this tractor. Um, so I'm going to do some research. I do have. Um, some information about somebody who reconditions distributors for this engine and of this era um, and I'm going to contact them and see if uh, they have something maybe we can do a, uh, a, a swap uh, and maybe they'll take this one this one's in pretty good condition we obviously reconditioned it right back at the start of the channel um, I can't remember which video it was but it would have been probably number three or four I imagine so um, yeah, it's uh, you know it is in good it is it is in good condition and hopefully they will do an exchange. I imagine I'll have to pay something, but hopefully not too much. But anyway, okay. So yeah, short video. Um, I said it would be short, but um, I wasn't expecting to be quite that short, honestly. But anyway, there you go. That's how it goes sometimes. So yeah, we're gonna leave it there. Hope you all have a good week and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers for now.